Hey guys, it's your boy Roots, and I got Mr. Andres Espinosa here at the Kissimmee Regional. Um, just finished X1. Most likely he's gonna get top eight. Uh, you want to talk about your matchups? Or, well, it was nine rounds. So <laughs> nine basically. rounds, yeah. Uh, I played a lot of different decks. I think I played uh, or Cashier twice, but everything everything else was pretty much different matchups. I played like Materia, Runic. I played like a Sky Striker Cashier, like a bunch of random stuff. Um, I went, actually went X one one. Uh, I drew a Tino, and then I lost to a Runic Sprite player by misplaying. Um, but other than that, man, I piloted Swords, so I've been playing this deck since it came out. Um, oh, after they banned Protoss, but I started playing it, um, and I just felt like it was in a good place for this format. All right, then, let's get out to that one. All right. Uh, it's, people are going to be mad, bro. This deck is super standard. I don't do anything different. Uh, three Ecclesia, uh, best going second card. Uh, three. Three. Two, like that's standard that should be like what everybody's playing um this is kind of standard three three uh, i played two and then one because i draw this card a lot uh and like it doesn't advance your game state like playing into boards um hand traps i felt like this deck needed to play hand traps played three ash because it's like the best hand trap uh overall against all matchups uh i did play three nib shout out to sanders for uh getting me these um it beats the mirror, it beats cash. Like it, it, there's a lot of applications for this, and I felt like it was good. Did people uh, play around it or respect it? Nobody was playing around it. Uh, I personally played around it, but no one was playing around it. Uh, three Veilers to round up uh, monster hand traps. Uh, and then three Imperms, so 12 hand traps in the main deck. 12 non-engine. 12 non-engine, uh, it's 41 cards, actually. Uh, triple Emergence, best like Rota, I guess you could say. Uh, this was like different from all the lists that I played. Uh, because I was always playing Vessel, but I felt like this card was really good in the in the format, um, and it just allows you to get follow up too. Uh, two desires, uh, utility, and um, I don't know. It's good. Uh, and then the one blackout, common blackout too. Uh, Forty one cards in the main deck. Uh, extra deck tokens. Shout out to Ryan for getting me the insane source of token and my family. Uh, my family. Triple Monk, some people were playing too. This card comes up for me a lot, triple, so I, I had to play it. Uh, I played Shaman, uh, which is really good too. Um, I made it a lot, usually I make it after getting Nib, so it's really good, like utility. Uh, that's the only links I played. I was playing Lina in the beginning, but then um, it just wasn't coming up enough for me. Yazi, uh, two boxy, my favorite extra deck card. Uh, I played three if I could, if the space was allowed it. Uh, two Shishao. Rich guy. <laughs> Uh, Berserker, uh, and then the one card that I swapped out for Lina was um, the Ad Emancipator because there's a lot of trap tricks, and like the, you just summoning this immediately puts pressure on them. Uh, that's it for the H. I played Chow Fang. I made this card a lot. I mean, even in matchups where I didn't make a difference, but like playing around Nib and Valor and stuff like that is just really good. Uh, and then for the tens, the boy, the bigger boy, and then the card I always make. Uh, I always play around Nib. Uh, side. side deck side deck is kind of standard nothing crazy uh, i was playing initially i was playing uh, change of heart but i just felt like this was really good um utility uh playing against like all the trap decks so i didn't play labyrinth at all so like hopefully they didn't have the heavenly prison but i didn't have that this card uh overperformed this was one of my favorite cards to side in um spot removal like the problem with this deck sometimes when you play nib is you get stuck out of your tennies so just dark holding the whole board and then just starting over with your tennies is really good um the tech card, I guess you could say. I didn't side this in a lot, but um, in theory, it was good testing. Uh, it could either be this or Bell, depending on what you want to play. Uh, so the spells, the card of the format, triple D barrier. Um, I side this in a lot in the mirror, going first. I side this branded, going second. Even going second in the mirror, I sided in. Uh, and then God card, best card of the format. Uh, three evenly matched. So, would you, um, what's your result? You know, you do X one. Would you have main this card or no? Uh, I felt like Nib was just better. I mean, this is a really good card, uh, but most people respect this more than they respect Nib. So this, um, this I guess in theory would be better going second. Like, uh, I just felt like Nib was really good. Uh, and then this was my, I guess, take on things. Uh, Three Droll. It came up a lot. I played against the Runic deck. Um, it's really good against Kashira if they don't like open D Shifter. Um, but it's just utility against like every deck. Um, I cited it in a lot. I drew it once, won the game because of it. So, uh, yeah, I mean, everything's super standard. It's just 
what I tell people with this deck, um, like I alluded to the Roots 2 when I was talking to him about it, um, this deck is pilot reliant. Um, it's not just making an 8 and a 10, it's like maneuvering boards, like playing through certain things, playing around certain things. Um, so it's not just you making 8s and 10s and then thinking you're going to win. Uh, it's very pilot reliant. Um, but overall, I mean, shout out to everybody in my group message. Shout out to Roots and his team. Um, shout out to Andy, actually. Andy was the guy who taught me how to play this deck, so he didn't show up today, but shout out to them. Um, shout out to my family. They're here watching. Um, yeah, just, yeah, pretty much all I got. All right, cool. And thanks again for the Dead Proof Friday. We got the family, too, in the video, too. All right, guys. Till next time, guys. Peace.